Hello, today I would like to show you new radio in my collection and I can tell you right now that this is going to be my keeper, this is going to be my primary radio and it is great and I'm going to tell you exactly why. This is going to be a little bit longer video, so if you do not have time, then I recommend you skipping skipping this, because I would like to tell you why I believe this is a good option and what I was thinking while I was buying this. So if you would like to see only the menu, then I might record a second video while I'll be showing you how to program it, because it's interesting, you can program this wirelessly via Bluetooth, you do not need a programming cable. So that's all. First time Motorola did something good and you do not have to buy a special cable paying a lot of money, only, only this good. Why I buy this radio and why I didn't buy this in couple years back? This radio, as you can see, is very, very small. It has size of a phone, of a quite older phone, when you got standing out antenna like this. This looking like a GSM or WCDMA phone. And for me, I like radio like this. I like to have a full-size antenna. This is not a, this is a stubby, but the, the quarter wave length will be like this. And this is radio that I like to carry. This is radio that are used by uh, public safety. And it has a good quality. It can have a drop impact resistance. As you can see, there is a lot of scratches, lot of bumps, and this radio is just working. You might ask me why I didn't switch for a newer one, and the answer is that Motorola use their own connector, they, they love this, and the DP3600 is, I believe this is a last radio from the digital series that have a SMA connector so you can very easily hook up a rooftop antenna you can put a battery eliminator that have a cigarette lighter plug you can put a microphone and in couple of seconds you've got a base radio so this is this is why I don't see reason why I should go for the 4000 series 4600-4800. They are nice, they've got a color screen. But as I said, I don't see much improvement and I would like to stay with my rooftop antenna as a main reason to, to stay on this radio. But I I need change. I need to change. I start looking for a more covert radio. This is something that I'm everyday carry. This is the Box Chip S seven hundred or seven thousand. I I don't remember the Box Chip S seven seven thousand. I believe. But it's not 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 a very good radio, not not very good radio. The the software is uh, I don't like software. I I might I might record a video about it, but I do not recommend you. This Android smartphone and radio two in one, but it's not not that great. So why I go for this? Because I was looking for something more covert, something that doesn't stand out, something that I can carry next to my 
my smartphone, I can pass a security checkpoint. And if I put it like this with my Mo wallet, it looks like an older phone and it doesn't raise any suspicion. It looks like a phone for, for a normal person. I'm pretty sure that if you are interested in two-way radios that you might recognize that this is not a phone, that it have a PTT. But for most people, this is going to be an old phone. They might have laughed at you that you're still carrying this. This is a proper, proper digital radio. And I'm going to tell you in a second, because it actually outperformed the DP3600. That, that was why I, I decided to keep it. But don't, don't go there yet, because I would like to say a couple of stuff. And you can even, you can take a walk with this, you can put next to your phone, of course you cannot transmit it even says to you that, but you can marking that you are making a call and you, you're saying, yes, I love you, I will buy milk. It doesn't look like a, a police or law, law enforcement. Very good. If you are looking for a concealed radio, everyday carry, then this is a, a way to go. From the, from the exterior part, let's take a look. As you can see, They've got a very nice PTT, and I really mean that this is a good Motorola make a really great improvement. On the DP3600, I've got a situation when I have this in my pocket and it was start keying up. Here, I never have this happened. It's hidden so in so way that it's easy to press even with glove but it's it's no way it's going to press accidentally like this part is standing a little bit out and it have to be intentional we have a volume we've got a programming key so, so i'm pretty sure you can program them with the with the software so i'm not going to tell you what they are doing it have a ability to use a drop in charger so you can recharge or you can recharge and program with the with the micro usb let me let me open this we've got a micro usb socket just like on the on the phone but programming i was doing using the built-in bluetooth working perfect no problem whatsoever we've got ability to use a covert headset and yes this is a connector they use a special connector we can give them a pass because there is no way they are going to put a full-size connector on that small unit so we can we can say that this is okay but the best thing is you can use a bluetooth to wirelessly connect with your headset I don't really like that because you have to recharge I've got a wireless speaker mic for my Zello application for, for speaking with people on Zello but for for a covert earpiece I believe the best is to get just a, a wire we've got an antenna and as you can see we've got a frequency range that this antenna is is capable of working and here is the the starting question why this radio outperform with my test the motorola dp3600 which i'm using like a, a reference point the DP3600 with a full size, full quarter size length antenna because this is the, the Motorola Stabi, this is the, the shorter one. <coughs> but the, the full size actually I've got on my rooftop connected with the uh, PL 
adapter. And this is my reference point when I'm testing all this Chinese antenna, if they manage to beat the, the quarter wavelength Motorola, then I'm giving them a pass. And so far I never came across any Chinese antenna that will beat the, the quarter wavelength Motorola antenna. I don't know if the Motorola did a good job, I'm putting the the genuine Motorola antennas. I'm talking only on the UHF, not not the VHF. They make a good job, and I'm buying them their original original antennas and using on all radio. And I believe they are the the best antenna you can buy. But this have a better range than this radio and this is a very good question why is this happening because if you have any any knowledge about the two-way radios you know that longer antenna is always better because the shorter antenna means that we are going to either coil it or we are going to have some as a coil load that on the bottom or just having in form of a, a spring to meet the length and if antenna gets shorter it perform worse you you cannot overcome this so when i saw this radio i was pretty sure that okay this is um, the ad was that this was used for uh, like a hotel environment like on the event, nice lady with this tiny pocket size radio. And she doesn't need a great range. She doesn't need to talk with a dispatch like a police officer do. You do not need to hit a repeater a couple miles ago. You are inside a building, maybe 100 meter range, maybe 500. You don't need have a big antenna. Big antenna will be bulky, will be poking you. So they put a small antenna. It's cutting the corners, less range. But for the idea that was designed, you you don't need a great range. And this is why I give it a pass couple of years ago. But here, because I was looking for something more concealed, I say that, okay, I agree. I'm fine with having less range. I want something that looks like a phone. But it outperformed this radio. And this is when I start to, to digging because that was, this was like not thinkable to me how that can happen and I found a YouTube video of a guy who was called a fellow YouTuber Nokia man and he was repairing this radio and we learned something interesting because the antenna is starting like in that point it goes like this there is a plastic element that have a, a wire acting as antenna and it goes like this go like this like this and here it's mating with the the top part and it's going like this so this is not antenna this is part of a longer antenna and I'm pretty sure that if you are stretch this we are going to get like a almost full size that might be the maybe the quarter wavelength antenna and once again if you have any skills in in the radio communication you are going to say that oh this is going to perform worst because you are kind of mixing the the vertical and the horizontal antenna which is not good in normal case you 
even either use the vertical or use horizontal and that is true that is true but from my observation that would be true only if like you are in the line of sight you've got uh, two mountains and you are got only line of sight then having only vertical and horizontal you should go to the moment when if you've got your your two antenna vertical and you go horizontal then you should lost all reception this is the the ideal world world but inside of a city inside between of a building what is actually going on is the the wave is bouncing from from everything from a buildings from a all sorts of structure so it doesn't arrive in the only in the in the horizontal or vertical i've got often situations when i have a better reception while holding radio like this and on horizontal on vertical it doesn't work so sometimes you hear someone perfect like this sometimes like that sometimes like this so i believe this is why this radio is performing better and because it like connecting this two type so it have a better ability of catching that bounced wave this is what i believe i'm i'm might be wrong but this is my my observation why this radio was performed worst and this one is a winner 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 chicken dinner so yes this radio is going to to stay okay let's power on this radio let's take a look we've got a status led here is a device for measuring the brightness in that part and we are booted up we can place our first call testing 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 one two three four five radio ship and we can talk back testing yes it's pretty low testing testing one two three four five radio check as you can see it's working very nice what is also interesting if i'm going to leave it like that i press the ptt as you can hear it vibrating so if you've got this inside your pocket it's giving you a shake and information that you miss a call so I very, very enjoyed it. Auto brightness I disable currently, but it's working pretty well outdoor. And the quick menu, go through the menu. So first of all, we've got a contacts, we've got a all, that's for calling to everyone. If I press this, I can speak to anyone on that frequency. I've got a program a base which is that radio and I've got this in a confirmation mode. I, I forgot this the, the parity confirmation. That's mean that if I'm going to press the PTT, I'm going to get the talk permit tone only if second radio respond. So let's see how this looks in the normal case. So I press the PTT. I've got the talk permit tone and I know that the other radio is in range and we can make a call. If other radio is on different frequency, if other radio is out of the range, I'm going to press the PTT, it calling and we've got the parity non-available. This is absolutely the best option if you are trying to call a 
a person that you know and you do not have hey 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 are you there can you hear me are you left your radio no you don't get response you know that someone radio is not available and there is no need uh, for for you trying to to contact them of course this option will beep on the radio it will open but you can make a radio check and it's doing exactly the same thing it's sending a message saying hey are you there i'm going to go back because that will fail and we've got a tick that we are online so this radio is asking this are you there yes i'm there and we've got this nice stick we can of course compose a message no problem radio check we can assign the, a key we can call a alert we can manually put a, any radio id in the dmr the menu menu reassemble a very simple old-fashioned phone we can select do we would like to have the vibration or not the keypad lock notifications what we've got job ticket i didn't try this i didn't try this because it requires having a dispatch software on the computer and if you have them then you can send a, like a ticket request directly to the phone so you can say to someone hey bring me this or bring me that and someone can accept that ticket mark this as completed but this is more like a industrial or a hotel event kind of thing and it requires software i didn't check this but i'm pretty sure that you have to pay for the software and we can disable the tone so it's very very basic like a phone type they are also a uh, settings so there was the contact list here we we can shortcut for that we have ability to scan you now it's scanning from the for the all channels that we are program but i'm going to turn it off what is also interesting call log we've got a bluetooth here you go if you'd like to use the and program the external microphone or program your computer for the programming or or sending the digital data because yes this could be used as a digital modem i will make video on this we've got our radio settings this is the talk around you can set a I like the talk permit tone. There is a lot of settings that you can you can set. There is no front panel programming. You cannot put a frequency. So this is something that many of uh, MH Radio are interested. But sorry, you you cannot with this model. Here is a list of languages that are program. yes this is how it looks like so do i recommend this radio yes i definitely recommend you this just remember this is only a digital and that this is only a uhf it beats this radio so i do not see a reason for carrying this or carrying that this is the box chip s700 and yes this is going to be my my set for conceal carrying what what to need more so thank you very much for watching i hope you find that interesting i'm i'm pretty sure that i forgot something important that i would like to tell you but 
but for now that's everything and we are going to see each other on the programming video so thank you very much for watching see you next time and bye bye